Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your boy Aves coming to you with another music video reaction. My voice sounds like crap. The light, pay no mind to the purple light. I thought I would go with like a brighter light setting today. I mean, I do have my ring light on, but it's turned down a little bit. So I'm not like so bright, but I have my other lights on too in my room just to see how the, the white light looks from everywhere. So uh, anyway, but side, that's a side rant. Anyway, I'm just trying to see how that works. Happy shiny Saturday, everybody today. Okay, well, th this is gonna be a rough one because I had, I had uh, was trying to figure out which one to do. So I decided to just go with like Queen of New York because um, I wanna do a little bit more shiny lives, especially the concerts because as you guys know, <sighs> You get copyrighted for every little dumb thing these days. So I'm going to go with the uh, Queen of New York, Shiny World 3, which is kind of where I've been at for like the last week or so. But um, yeah, I want to I wanna do this one because we're still in the everybody era. I know usually I don't do this with um albums, but it's, it's a mini album and it's everybody. So yeah, um, <laughs> so we're going to go over that today. And before we do, uh, for those of you who are new to my channel and you uh, are enjoying the content that you see and you want more from me, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel, Moonlight Antonio, where we give you reactions, K-pop and inspiration from under the beautiful moonlight, as well as turning on the bell for notifications so that you can be alerted to my next upload. I actually didn't mess up this time. Um, Y'all, excuse my voice. My voice is like a little low today. I'm going to try to talk low and... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do everything low today. Uh, Cause my voice is like dying. I don't know why, I don't know what's been going on, but it's been dying lately and uh, it's not a good feeling. So uh, yeah, we're gonna just get right into it. Queen of New York, Shiny World 3. Let's go. Ooh, that's low. The way she walks, the way she talks. I had no idea at first when I saw this that that was Onu saying that part. I thought it was Minho, but it's because I am not familiar with hearing Onu say English stuff too much. Um, but over time, I did realize, yeah, it's it's Onu. Baby. I have not really seen this one too many times. It's been, uh, it's been a minute and I think I may have only seen this performance maybe, I don't know, two, three times? Yeah, about three times. But it's funny because like, I could imagine like it being rainy, like the Queen of, Queen of New York concept being rainy. They have, you know, like these, these raincoats on, you know, I, I could imagine it. I could imagine it, definitely. With these, with these like, uh, really good looking suits on. Look, Key, Key is like the one member that can do the hip action the best. <laughs> it really is a uh, concept that I'm, uh, oh, I like the lights, but it, it's a concept that, ah, uh, you know, I, th I feel like the concepts on the Everybody album are like once in a lifetime concepts that they would never pull out of the bag again. Um, but Shiny's never been known for 
rehashing anything. I had to shut up for that one. <laughs> It's very simple, but I love, I love like the, the, the music and like the, like the different sounds you hear on this song are so good. It's so good. I really like the, like how this song is constructed how the sounds are. They have like these somewhat 70s kind of like sounds in this song. And it actually kind of reminds me of, I know, so, 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 just laugh at me if you want to. It kind of has like a 70s kind of vibe to it. And which is something I never really thought about when I listen to this song. I don't think about the fact that this song sounds like a 70s song or like it has elements of like 70s in it, but the more you listen to it, the more you you like you start to think, wow, like they were really inspired by like a lot of different genres of music in a lot of different periods of time, like the 70s era. This is very retro sounding on purpose because like 2013 was not a retro time, but this song has a retro sound to it that like is combined with the modern pop and that that's beautiful if I give like, that's that's a beautiful thing when you can have like pop and a retro sound and put it in like to a, into a song this this was one of those songs on the album that you you know you try to like figure out and think what genre of music were they inspired by or what genre of music inspired the songwriter and the producer to create this song and that song and you do that with a lot of songs the good news is that i think shiny's become something like to a point where you do that with every song now it's like every song you're like where did they get that inspiration from where did they get that inspiration from where did they get like you know what inspired them to do this do that and uh i was picking up a lot of 70s retro kind of vibes with this song it's so it's so interesting it's very rare pieces of music that you you may not hear anything like this again and i think that's why i like everybody so much is that this that kind of music you may not hear this kind of music from shiny or any other group ever ever again in, in your life but that's why you appreciate the music that you do hear from shiny because this music is amazing i love the choreography um one one good thing about the lives is that there are songs that i think i've said this before but there are songs that you imagine what the choreography and what the stage would look like and what the concept would be like but there's no performance so you try to put together in your mind or an, an, like an imaginary setting with the stage and the concept, what the members are wearing, things like that. And you try to put to like, what would the choreography be like, you know? And it's nice to see like Queen of New York songs like that, that don't really have uh, much of anything. Be like something you, you could see in like a, a performance setting you know songs like punch drunk love and stuff like that you see the, like the choreography so to speak i just yeah i love those live performances that's 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 the joy of them really is you don't have to guess or wonder anymore it's like there they are right there for you to watch for you to enjoy you don't have to worry about trying to fit it you know put it together anymore and if it doesn't like rarely rarely do I think of a concept conceptualize in my mind you know a concept for a song and when I actually do see the actual song being performed in the concept that they almost almost exactly match my conceptualization of you know what it would be like 
this song actually did that because <laughs> that's what I thought about like rain coats, rain, the, the suave look because it's New York, you know, if you think of New York, you think of suave look. I was thinking they was probably gonna be wearing like some nice little, you know, Dick Tracy looking hats. The umbrella, you know that, and they actually had it in the song. So when I first saw it, I was like, yep, that's exactly what I envisioned. That's exactly what I thought. So yeah, it's very cool to see that and um, to see it done brilliantly well, like amazingly well. And this is one of those fun kind of songs too, Queen of New York, so. Uh, I think they did a very good job. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And I hope that uh, down the road, down the road as we get further along into Shiny, I'm gonna try to like fit live performances in with the music videos because I know how much you guys really love the live performances and you guys like tell me, hey, Avery, you should look at the live performance. Hey, you should look at the live performance of this, the live performance of that, live performance of this guy, this group, this group, that, you know. So I'm gonna try to do that more in between. I think that's that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, much like now. And yeah, we'll just see how that goes. I have a few more videos coming up. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to them all and upload them this week, but for sure this video will be uploaded this week, God willing. Um, it, has, it has to be, it's Shiny Saturday, all right? So I'm not gonna take my, t I'm, I'm not going to take my time. I'm going to like immediately start working on this one around probably tomorrow or Friday, depending on what time I, what day I do it, probably Friday. Cause I just like to procrastinate. <laughs> I don't like to, it just happens sometimes. That and like, like my time and trying to like adjust my time to, to do YouTube is kind of hard to do sometimes so um but i'm making it work somehow but yeah uh, i think that's it for this video it was a really good mv or should i say a performance video live video concert video yeah i mean i would call it an mv because it's still I don't know, it's still a music video to me, even though it's not really a music video. That's it for this video though. Uh, so, I have uh, some other videos to do, so I'm gonna get to those videos right after this. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for loving the content. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm going to probably get a sip of water so that my voice won't be so bad. And uh, we'll see how, see how the rest of these things kind of work. Uh, but yeah, until the next video, it's your boy Abe signing out. Peace. Love you guys.